this was me celebrating almost getting to 10 million monthly views on Pinterest. I know it's a vanity metric, but it was still exciting to get there because, you know, I, you know, people love vanity stuff. Then I discovered that uh, Pinterest algorithm has changed. So all the things I was doing before, it was just not working anymore. <laughs> Uh, Pinterest isn't the same Pinterest that we're used to. Those of us who used to use it for business and put lots of links on Pinterest and that'll drive all that traffic to our Etsy shop, our blogs, our vlogs, our other social media platforms, our YouTube channel, and we'll get the benefits of all that traffic. That's no longer the thing. The platform now prefers people to stay on platform. So they're not necessarily promoting and encouraging people to leave platform. This is something actually I predicted and a few videos last summer. So that's again why you need to be subscribed to this channel is because I give you the heads up on Pinterest. So now that we know that it's not necessarily gonna be easy to get traffic from Pinterest, what do we do now? There's a couple of things you need to do and focus on going forward. And so we're gonna be talking about that after this break. Okay, since you no longer can rely on Pinterest to help you promote your video and static pins that take people off platform, you now have to take advantage of the ways that Pinterest allow people to know your profile, your Pinterest account, come to it, and then they'll see your static and video pins. So there are three opportunities that you have that you need to take advantage of. One is idea pins. Idea pins is about up to 20 slides vertical video or still images where you're showing people how to do something. You're giving an instruction, you're inspiring people and giving someone the idea or a new take or something. So that's the first thing is do idea pins and they have to be inspirational. Think about the audience, who you're targeting. Will they find this interesting? What are the things, the pins that get you to click and watch? Whatever those pins are, replicate those success models. The second thing is to optimize your profile, your board descriptions and your pins so that you show up in profile. How do you show up in profiles? The best way to show up in profiles is to niche down. So your most of your content, your boards, your pins are in a specific category because that's going to signal to Pinterest, um, Pinterest to index your account. And so you're more likely to show up in profiles. So when, so when someone is doing a search, they're going to hopefully see you in one of the profiles categories and check you out. The third and final places where to show up is, is when popular accounts do a certain pin. If you have something similar, if you have a product that's similar, add your take on it because they have a lot of eyeballs on that pin. And so that's another way to actually get attract attention of the eyeballs that they're already creating. Once you do that, you get people in your account, then they can see your other static and video pins that go directly to your account. So you're gonna have to do more of the heavy living and not rely on Pinterest. I hope these tips are helpful for you. This is JJ Gat, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel so you get more tips like this. In the meantime, cue my outro music.